So I'd just like to reiterate from the rest of the gang, thank you very much for being here this evening. We're glad that you're here. So I'm just going to really quickly go through a commercial message for you so that you know a little bit more about the foundation itself. So you've been hearing from the physicians, you've seen some of the statistics that are out there. What we know is that digestive disease, digestive disorders are huge. Probably everyone in this room has some sort of digestive disorder that they're concerned about right now. Anytime if you were walking around in the public, two out of three people will probably be suffering from some sort of digestive disorder or disease throughout this particular year. It's very expensive, it's debilitating, and for some people it's really embarrassing and it changes their lives. So we're here, the foundation is here to try and help you understand the conditions that you're dealing with, to try and help you make you feel better, and to actually help prevent some of the conditions that you're dealing with. So this is our mission statement. We exist to help patients, and patients means people who are diagnosed and undiagnosed, so the general public, and the people who care for them. We empower people to take control of their digestive health with confidence and optimism. We don't want you to be embarrassed. We don't want to find out that somebody's dying because they haven't had the courage to come forward and say, I'm experiencing these symptoms and that it's cost them their lives. So CDHF puts together a ton of information for you. I would imagine that each one of you has probably been to our website. Yes, you had to register, so I'm pretty sure you went there. <laughs> so our website has a, about 500 pages of information that's in there, and it will have fact sheets, videos, questions and answers on all of the diseases that you've heard about already this evening, as well as several others. So please go to it and use it very often, and it changes all of the time. We're constantly adding content. The things that we're doing today, will th these the slides and the videos that are actually occurring tonight will be on the website within a few weeks so that you can review it and go over this important information again. The fact sheet, as I said, for most of the diseases that we cover right now, we have an overview, a list of symptoms to be looking for, possible tests that you might have to actually get a conclusive diagnosis, treatments that you may need to be considering, and importantly, we talk about how you should feel if the treatment is working so that you can go back to your physician and say, great, thanks, I feel awesome, or hey, there's still a problem, so we need to talk about it a little bit more. Um, there should be at the back, if you haven't gone to pick it up yet, I really encourage you to do so. There's a, um, a digestive guide that we put together with Rexall that has a listing of it's really a, a microcosm of our website where it's got about 13 different digestive diseases and it goes through those overviews, the tests, the, the warning symptoms to take a look for. And it's just a good thing to, you know, keep in your bathroom so that you can be leafing through it so that when you're experiencing symptoms that you can actually recognize them and you can go with your doctor, with the book in hand to your doctor and say, this is what's happening to me. Is it possible that I have IBS or that I have celiac disease or I've got blood in my stool and I'm 55? Mm, I haven't had that colonoscopy. Maybe I actually should be thinking about doing that. We have um, all kinds of, of different things that are going on there. And we are on Facebook. I think probably today we went and got our 1,000th fan. So there's lots of people who are following us right now. And the, the Facebook page is a great way to go through things because we put little bits of information on there so that you're not being overwhelmed by a ton of information. You're just getting a fact or two a day. And it'll take you back to different parts of the website so that you can get more details if you want them. So this is the end of my commercial and getting up on my soapbox. Um, I happen to be a person who survived a life-threatening illness. I had a 10% chance of surviving uh, a long time ago, and it taught me a lot of things. But the biggest thing that it taught me was to be a good patient. As individuals who are talking to healthcare professionals, these guys up here are volunteering for us. Most of them have been in clinic or in the hospital or dealing with people since probably about 7 o'clock this morning, and they go through seeing hundreds of people in a week. And for them to be able to distinguish what you're describing to them as being a serious illness or just, you know, a bad day of describing things is maybe a little bit challenging for them. So we have a responsibility as patients to be able to communicate very clearly what's happening to us. We have the responsibility to get educated, to understand what's happening with our bodies, to recognize those warning signs so that when we go to the physician, we say, something's different, something's wrong, and I need you to, to, to take a look at it, and we need to talk about it. You know your body best, so make sure you communicate with the doctors and let them know that. And when something's wrong, be your best advocate. Something is wrong. Please don't send me away and tell me that I'm okay. 
I know that I'm not. Blood in, my, in the stool is not normal. Having this incredible pain in my stomach is not normal. I've lost a whole bunch of weight and I haven't been trying. That's not normal. Make sure that you communicate that very clearly to your, to your physician. So know your body, know your history. Be able to start recognizing what's normal and what's not so that you can report things that are different. Recognize signs and symptoms. Get that, re that guide that's at the back so that you know what those are. Follow recommendations. One of the things that we hear about all the time is that when people have to take medication for a digestive disease or any kind of illness, they feel different. They feel weird. They feel that they're dysfunctional in some way. But you've been prescribed that medication because you need it, because it's going to make you healthy. And for some people, if you have a chronic um, condition, you need to take that medication forever. Not just until you feel better. If you stop taking it, the chances of you getting sick again are probably pretty good. And the chances of you doing further damage are really high. So you need to make sure that you're following the recommendations of your physician. So, physician. Um, and you want to open, openly communicate with them. Tell them honestly what's going on. Make sure that they know what is happening. Um, so many times we hear from the physicians that they have a conversation with the, with the individual. They come in, they say, how are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. They have a conversation for 10 minutes. They finish it. And on the way out the door, the patient will say, you will say, something significant is wrong. Well, then the whole conversation has to start again and you have to, have to go over everything. Be open and honest from the, from the very start. Make sure that you know exactly what questions you have, what's wrong, and that you say that to your physician without shame. They've heard everything. So go ahead and tell them what it is that's bothering you. And come prepared. Make sure that you're writing down those signs and symptoms, whether you're doing it electronically or you're doing it in a notebook. If you have questions or you have signs and symptoms that you want to be keeping track of and that you get nervous in front of the doctor, write them down or track them some way. So CDHF has actually created a way for you to do that electronically. So for people who have iPhones and um, Android phones and the new Blackberries, we've got an app that can help you track those things. If you don't have one of those phones, it's okay. I'm gonna, we're going to go through what this app actually does. But everything that you see in here, make sure that you're taking note of it because these are the things that are important to the physicians. So you want to make sure whether you're writing it down on paper or you're doing it electronically that you're keeping track of this information. So our app is called GI Bodyguard and it essentially takes care of tracking what's happening with your bowels, the pains that, that you have, medications, um, whether you're doing exercise, what your weight is, and food and drink. So very quickly, again, this is just a way to make sure that you're sharing openly and honestly with your physician what your history is and any signs and symptoms that you're dealing with. It's if you're going to a new doctor, if you're going into a walk-in clinic, they don't have the context. They don't know you inside and out. So you want to make sure that you're keeping track of any information that's pertinent to your health condition, particularly the symptoms that you're, that you're coming in to see them for. So... We've talked in great detail about poop. David did a wonderful job of actually taking you through the track for constipation. Um, but what actually happens in your bowels is very important. So you want to be able to know, is it soft or is it hard? Are you constipated or you have diarrhea or do you have something in between that's normal? That Bristol stool chart is something that the physicians have in mind all of the time. That's what their benchmark is for keeping track of signs that are related to, to your stool. Um, to track whether or not there's blood in there. Blood in your stool at any time is not normal. If you've never talked to your physician about it, you need to. You need to write it down. You need to describe whether it's black or if it's red, how often, how much, that sort of thing, so that they can decide what's wrong with you. The color of the blood that's in your stool may indicate the area of your digestive tract that's actually affected. And you want to talk about whether or not you have some sort of regular bowel movements where you're going once a day and it's just a lovely pleasant experience where you're reading your digestive health guide or if it's something where you know you have to get to the washroom right away if you have to rush like that and that's coming on as, a, as something that's not normal again you need to report that and let them know that that's changed and that's something new knowing where the pain is in your body is important as well and how severe it is so you need to let them know when it's happening, where it is in your body, and the level of pain that you're actually experiencing. Medication. That's something that you really need to respect and pay attention to. Again, when we're feeling bad and we take medication, most of the time we get relief right away. And that's a really important thing. But once we start feeling better, we forget or we have an aversion to taking the medication. Don't. 
it's been prescribed to you for a specific reason and it's been prescribed to you over a specific, specific amount of time. Follow the directions that are given to you. This app allows you to actually track how much medication you need to take, when, you can set reminders, all that sort of stuff, so it's great that way. Food and drink, there's a direct correlation sometimes. We've heard that from um, Dr. Uh, Hunt when he was talking about GERD. There are certain foods that will aggravate acid reflux. So make sure you're tracking and, and following those trends. If you have celiac disease or lactose intolerance, there are symptoms that may appear when you eat certain fo foods. And those symptoms that you experience may be a clue for the physician to help diagnose what's actually wrong with you. Water is important. You can track how many, how many glasses of water you drink in a day. Most people track weight to find out if they're obese. Are they gaining weight? What are they doing with it? But weight on its own can actually be an indication of disease. If you're losing or gaining weight when you're not trying to, that can be an indication that something's wrong. So you want to be able to track that. You want to let them know what's going on. And we know that exercise is good for us, so this is just an easy way to track it. So the good thing about GI Bodyguard is it'll take all of the information that you've been tracking and it'll make it into nice, neat reports that you can either email to your physician or you can print out and bring to your appointments or you can just watch them, watch the, watch the trends on your own. And again, whether it's electronic or it's through GI Bodyguard, it really doesn't matter. What you need to do is be able to track that information accurately, clearly, and be able to feed that back to your physician so that they know what's happening. So right now, GI Bodyguard is available for free, just like the seminar tonight, um, for iPhones. And in about five weeks, it'll also be available for Android. So you can download it if you have one of those phones. Anyways, that's the end of the commercial. I just wanted to say thank you very much to the doctors who are up here who took the time to be with you this evening. They've done a, a great job, and it's, they volunteered to be here. So thank them. <laughs>